Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here on a rainy Friday day, uh, Friday afternoon, showing you a 1995 Coach House Class B camper van, folks. These are extremely rare. You're going to love the price of this motorhome. This is a 1995 192 TB Coach House, one of the premier brands. Got the 5.9 Magnum V8 the gas engine. Got a 2.8 on end generator, runs perfectly. The dash air is cold, roof air is cold. Got a new fridge in it. And look at this, folks, only $12,900. If you've been looking for one of these vans, this is an absolute bargain. Now, folks, it is not, it's not a new van. It is 22 years old. But when you look for these vans in this price range, you're gonna find very few of them with a generator. Very, very few of them for that price. It's got an awning. It's got almost brand new tires on it. Motorhome runs perfectly. The dash air is cold. Generator runs perfectly. Nice little van. And what's nice about these little vans is the fuel mileage. You're going to get right around 15 miles per gallon. Now, it does have 150,000 miles. But when you break it down miles per year, it's actually considered low mileage for the 22-year-old 22 uh, 22 van. And obviously it's a good van because somebody has kept it up and drove it that many miles. It, it, it's got to be a good van. We drove it 300 plus miles in here. It did great. You know, these vans are as easy to drive and park as a SUV or a pickup truck. Got a 5,000 pound hitch on the back, rear door. Got the Max Air bent cover, spare tires on the back. You know, to be the age it is, it's got a really nice exterior. Got the running boards. Uh, windshield looks great. I got the engine running. I don't hear any knocks or ticks in it or anything like that. No miss to it. I mean, this is a nice fan. Like I said, we just drove it 300 miles in here, so. Obviously, it hits the road good. 2.8 generator, cranks right up, runs perfectly. And it's got the 5.9, that's a 360 cubic inch V8. You step in here, you've got tilt, cruise, the dash air is ice cold, uh, stereo, seats to have me, as many miles as it's got on it look great. And it's a Dodge, heavy duty Dodge chassis. Let's look inside. Now, folks, for those of you who follow my channel, you know that we just ran into a cache of these Class B camper vans. I haven't been able to get but maybe five or six of these in the last 12 months. Well, I bought about seven or eight the other day. So I'm going to be doing more videos after this on Class B camper vans. But this one right here for the money, folks. You know, I know it's a 95 model, but it's in dang good shape to be the age it is and for the price. Uh, up front, everything works good. Brand new electric refrigerator. Um, in fact, it's still got the uh, tape and everything in it. <laughs> Monitor panel, microwave. Uh, it's got a water heater. It's got a DSI furnace. Got an ice cold roof air. Got a side bathroom, which is kind of unique. I'll show you here in a minute. You know, now folks, I'm six foot four, 280 pounds. And you know, when you're my height, they don't make a class B camper van you can stand up in. But this is about as close to standing up straight in one as I've been in. I just got to stoop just a little bit. So it's uh, pretty nice right there. Uh, closet right here on the side. Here in the back, you've got uh, opposing sofas that f come together. That's all, that, that's bigger than a queen bed. It's I mean, it's not a king size bed as far as width, but it's pretty close. Roof air is cold. You've got an HDTV back here. 
uh, like I said, they, they don't waste any space in here, folks. Storage. Got a 12-volt lighter for a 12-volt TV or a cell phone charger, something like that. Got a fantastic vent fan. And this is pretty neat. You know, like the road treks and stuff, how you have to take a shower in the hallway. Well, this is all enclosed in the side. So you can take your shower in here. Of course, you know, sitting on the toilet, you've got a little sink in here as well. A uh, little medicine cabinet, a uh, vent fan, light, um, all of that stuff. Everything's enclosed on the side. So you don't have to have a shower curtain out in the hallway. So that's pretty neat. Kind of unique. You know, this little van, we're going to go through this van. After purchase, we're going to go through a major systems check. What we do, we don't check these things out till we sell them, so you're looking at them just how they came in. Uh, after purchase, it's going to go into line in the back, and once it gets to its place into the shop, my RV techs are going to go over this thing. We're going to check all the major systems, including but not limited to the running and the driving. We're going to check the generator, the roof air, we're going to check the appliances, the refrigerator, which is brand new, but we're still going to check it. Microwave, it's got the stove top, we're going to check that. We're going to check the furnace, the water heater, we're going to check the showers, the water spigots, we're going to check all your drawers and cabinets. Make sure your bed folds out like it's supposed to in the back. We're going to check the awning. Uh, we're going to check all the plug-in receptacles. We're going to check your LP system for leaks. We're going to check your water system for leaks, make sure all your spigots and faucets work like they're supposed to. Um, we're going to check all your lights, make sure they come on, your vent fans, and more. I mean, it's a um, pretty extensive checkout, especially for a 22-year-old van. Now, we don't cover cosmetics, so if it's got a little ding, dent, scratch, whatever on it, or a worn spot, that's part of buying a 22-year-old van. That's why you're buying it for $12,900 instead of almost $100,000, which is what these things cost new now. That savings you're getting, the price you pay is that you got to deal with cosmetic imperfections. Because there's no such thing as a cosmetically perfect used RV, even if it's a year old, folks. I guarantee you there's a spot on it somewhere that's worn or stained or, or, or scratched or something like that. But what we do, folks, we make sure everything functions like it's supposed to. We're still selling it for an incredible price of only twelve nine. You know, this is this is a nice van. Not going to last long. Um, now, keep in mind, this is a nineteen ninety five model. I had this question come up earlier today. I go through all of our lenders here at the dealership are nationwide big lenders like U.S. Bank, uh, Bank of the West. We use uh, Aqua, we use a bunch of different nationwide lenders. Well, the problem is these nationwide lenders got together and decided, you know what, we're not going to loan on anything under a 2000 model. So if you need to finance this motorhome, you're going to have to go through your local bank or the credit union. You know, we have local banks and credit unions here that will finance this 95 model, but the problem with that is like all local banks and credit unions, they're not going to loan money to somebody that lives four or five hundred miles away. They only want to loan money to people that are local that live in the community. And that's why I say you're going to have to go through your own personal bank or credit union to get a loan on this van if you need to finance it. $12,900, folks. Uh, that's going to attract a lot of cash buyers, especially with the generator. But just letting you know that right off the bat, if you need to finance it, you're going to have to go secure your own financing at your bank, credit union, get a signature loan, a personal loan, however you want to do it. Um, HDTV on a great spot right there. I mean, this is a comfortable little van. It's easy to drive. It's only 20 foot long. It's smaller than your average F-150 pickup truck. You can sleep two people in here, travel in it. It's great for traveling. You can park it in a regular parking space, get great fuel mileage, easy to drive. This is something you can drive for several hours without getting fatigued, unlike a big motor home. You can pretty much cool the entire motor home just from the dash air. And of course, this, this big old roof air right here, folks, can really cool it off quick. I mean, this thing will run you out of here. It gets so cold in these little vans. 
and that's a 13,500 BTU roof air in this little area. So if that, that thing right there, it, let me put it to you this way. You can probably get this van just as cold as the inside of the refrigerator if you wanted to. And, you know, and, I, and I've said this in some other videos, too. These little vans are so versatile. You don't have to use them to spend the night in and travel in if you don't want to. I mean, if you've got kids going to softball tournaments and, uh, you know, you're, you're doing different events and stuff like that, you want a place to come in, beat the heat, drive this van over there. It's going to get close to the same mileage as your, as your SUV or truck. And you've got a generator, you can run the roof air, you've got a refrigerator, you've got a TV. I mean, you've got your own little hideaway, and if you're in a ball tournament, you're outside eight or nine hours in that heat. How nice is it to come in here, have you something cold to drink, fix you a snack, sit in the air, watch TV, that's a DVD player built into it as well. And all of that, just to have a little getaway spot. Um, I mean, there's just so many things you can do with these vans. Um, so it's just it's just a nice little traveling vehicle too. Even if you don't spend the night in it, just to travel around, you know, stop somewhere, stay in a hotel, park this in a regular parking spot, have a comfortable place. If you're driving a long distance, you want to stop, rest for a few hours. This is ideal for that. If you want to, uh, if you're if you're traveling with somebody on an oxygen machine. Plug it into power, run your generator, and you don't have to worry about relying on the portable tanks. You know, there's so many different things you can do with these vans besides camping. Uh, traveling, you know, a couple of two couples traveling this thing, take it easy, stay in hotels, go to casinos, go to Amish country, whatever you want to do. These little vans, you can just drive them and take them for a day trip. Have a heck of a, have a heck of a, a picnic lunch in here or a tailgater going to sporting events. I mean, just many, many different things you can do with these vans besides RVing. That's why they're so popular, and that's why people hang on to them. If you look for these little vans under thirty thousand dollars online for a used camper van, Class B camper van under thirty grand, you're going to find maybe twenty of them nationwide. About seven or eight of them on our on my lot right now. I've got the, I have no doubt in my mind after looking online that I have the largest in stock selection of Class B camper vans for under 30 grand of anywhere in the country. And these little vans are in such high demand that buyers will travel, they'll fly in from thousands of miles away to pick these things up for the right price like this one because they're so hard to find. 12.9, folks, you can't even buy a decent used travel trailer for what you can buy this van for. And you're going to get a ton more use out of this van than you are a travel trailer because you can use it for so many different things. Um, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Our website, sparkwayrbcenter.com. Great selection of Class B camper vans and more to come, folks. Uh, like I said, I've got more in stock now than I've been able to find in the last 12 months. In the last 12 months, I've sold almost 600 RVs. And maybe six of these vans I've been able to find out of those 600. So I've been through almost 100 Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, and fifth wheels for every one of these little vans that I could find in the last 12 months. That tells you how rare they are. People buy these things and they keep them for years, years, and years. You know, most motorhomes people buy, they keep them three or four years. They want something different. They get rid of it. These little vans, people keep these things for eight or nine years on average because they're so easy to use or so useful to have that they don't want to get rid of them. So uh, give us a call. This one's going to sell quickly. 12 9 that's a haggle-free price with the inspection and the walkthrough by my RV technicians. And when you do arrive here to pick it up, my RV techs will go through this thing with you, show you how to operate everything after it's been inspected. Now keep in mind again, folks, these things aren't inspected until we sell them. So uh, what you want to do before you buy this unit on eBay or any of the other 20 plus different websites I use, you want to call, talk to my non-commissioned sales department, ask them to send you a copy of what we check out and repair if needed for the price you pay and also ask them what the current lead time is for a class B checkout shouldn't be long at all but I want everybody to know because I don't know 
when you're watching this video. It may be a month from now that the, the situation or the line in the shop may be three times as long as it is now. It may be three times as short. I have no idea of knowing. That's why I want you to call ahead before bidding on eBay or uh, buying this unit on any of the other websites that I use as well. These things are for sale 24-7, folks. Just because we're closed, we're closed on Sundays, doesn't mean it can't sell. So keep that in mind. There's no such thing as uh, we're never closed, thanks to the Internet. Deliveries available. Give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Keep in mind, folks, we've got the uh, one of the southeast's largest selections of used RVs. We've got over 170 used RVs in stock, more than any dealer within a 500-mile radius of us, 570 used RVs. If you come here and look in person, it's going to be highly unlikely that you're that that you're going to leave here without seeing something that you want to buy. Very rarely does somebody come here in person, spend several hours, and not buy something from us or try to buy something from us. Because I have such a large inventory, we don't come in here 30 minutes before closing, expect to see everything, expect to spend a minimum two or three hours here looking at our inventory. Because I have so many RVs, so many different price ranges, so many different types. I pretty much got one of just about every type of RV that they make as far as brand and style and stuff like that. And these things are priced to sell. You can obviously see I've got the lowest prices on the internet. I compare our prices every day online. Nobody beats our prices, especially considering the services that we offer with the unit for that price. And they're all haggle free. So you know what the price is before you come look at it. You know what the price is after you look at it. You know, we don't haggle prices because of the services we offer. Now, if you want to take this thing as is, and when I mean as is, I mean jump in it, crank it up, and drive it off the lot. No inspection, no walkthrough, nothing. I will discount the price, what I have to pay my guys to do an inspection and a walkthrough. So I will haggle that way. But if you want it with the services provided, it's 12 9 not 12 8 not 12 8 50 it's 12 9 doesn't matter how much you look at it, it's still the same price. These things, they sell quickly, folks. And, and a Class B camper van with a generator, with everything that this van has with a cold dash air, which is unusual for a 95 model, all that stuff considering this is a bargain for what it is. This is something that's going to last you for a long time. If you take care of it, it's going to save you a lot of money. Uh, Give us a call. No commission salespeople. We're one of the oldest, largest, and most successful independently owned used RV dealership in the United States today. 49 years in business right here in Ringgold, Georgia. We're 10 miles south of Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're an hour and a half north of Atlanta. You can fly in, pick this thing up, drive it home after it's been inspected. Just call ahead, work out the deal with the salesperson. We'll pick you up for free at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport during business hours, bring you back here. RV Tech will do a walkthrough with you if you take it with the inspection and uh, do some paperwork. You drive it home, folks. I mean, it's it's that easy. No fees. Uh, you know, all of our prices are out the door. They're haggle-free, but they're out the door. So you don't have to worry about coming down here and getting surprised with two or $3,000 in fees like other dealers charge. Freight fees, dock fees, prep fees, tag fees, title fees. You don't have to worry about that here, folks. It's 12 9 out the door, period. Plus sales tax if you're a Georgia resident, since we are a licensed, bonded, and insured. The oldest licensed, bonded, and insured RV dealer in the state of Georgia, we do have to collect sales tax. All out-of-state customers will pay your state sales tax rate when you tag and title this motor home at your local DMV office. You get a 45-day temporary tag, you get a starter kit and instructional DVDs and more, all included for $12.9. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, call us, email us at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Check out our website, parkwayrvcenter.com. Over 170 used RVs and more arriving every single day. But keep in mind, folks, every day we're open for business. We sell anywhere from one to four RVs every single day. Once these little vans hit the internet, they're gone in a matter of days because they're so rare. So check the date on the video. 
if it's six months old, you can bet your bottom, you can bet every penny you've ever, you've ever made that this one's already gone. It has been gone for months. These things do not sit around. I have seven or eight of these things as of today. This time next week, or the week after, I probably won't have a single one of them. Give us a call, drop us an email, or better yet, visit us here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Thank you for watching.